With Seaver King, another top 10 prospect in the cleanup spot. And you'll note, no Nick Kurtz in there after suffering a shoulder. Four starts, it's, it's looked that way. Is one, two. Houston pulls it in the air to left. Shades on for Harrison Dinowick, who can't make the catch. Staring up at the sun in that part of the day, in that part of the outfield for this Wake offense. And here's the freshman left fielder, Javar Williams, who rolls it up the middle. Sliding stab Henry Godbell for the first down. Cracked open a five-zip lead for Wake. Hits this one through the right side, a base hit. And it scores Houston. And the Deeks are on the board first here in Charlottesville. Um, th that, that is a hit for this club. That's one of the best offensive players in the country. And for Blanco, good job of using that changeup. We talked about it. And it's second here. And Reinish works a walk. But if you're just joining us, is getting the start because Nick Kurtz, the superstar for Wake, injured yesterday. And when Ace skies this one into the sunny sky, and Henry Godbout puts it away. Not a bad time to be in Charlottesville. Breaking ball snapped in, and that is sick for that Burns. Was he deals and strikes out Stefan. Teal and Geloff. Swung on and missed. Burns to the slider that time, and he shows the whole arsenal and punches out the side of the first. Shift this year to Wake. Up the ladder, Blanco's got to strike out his second. Best college draft prospect as far as pitchers go. This is on the ground towards second. Henry Godbout collects, and it's a 1-2-3 top of the second for Evan Blanco. More towards the third base side of the rubber. Think that that plays the stuff up. Good boy, there's another one. Slider right there. It's been a revelation with the bat as well for Brian O'Connor. Skies this one to left, toward the seats, and gone! Henry Godbout goes deep off Chase Burns, and we're tied at one. Talking about the breakout season of Godbound, it just keeps keeps getting better. You, you gotta hunt something, whatever it is. It feels like you gotta go up and say you're gonna hunt fastball, you're gonna hunt slider, or well, Godbound right here is hunting fastball. And that's usually where Burns wants to throw it. It's that elevated fastball. Who in the second round of the Rockies? One two up the ladder is a strikeout for Blanco, and he is settled in. His two two. Tellier got jammed, but he floats it into center field, and he's got his second hit of the afternoon. Two strike, two out single for Adam Tellier. Course of that rookie season. Runner goes, the pitch is rolled left side. Past the dive of Becker and past O'Farrell into left. Tellier first to third with him off with the pitch. And Wake Forest has him at the corners with two outs in the third. Dealt with a knee injury early as well. This one is popped up toward third. Becker shades on, eyes skyward, ends the inning. Evan Blanco dodges danger. A sword and a strikeout for Burns. His fifth K. Cam Gill completes it. Toby Burns entered the weekend second in the country in strikeouts. And he lands a backup breaking ball for strike three calls. That's Wednesday night, 6 Eastern, right here on ACCN. Anthony Stefan goes first pitch swinging, and he vaults this one. Onto the outfield grass, and Cam Nelson charges in, and that is one, two, three for Chase Burns. I know that. Ten out of ten times. On the ground, O'Farrell dives, and it caroms off his glove. And Austin Hawk, still a good name himself, he's on with one out here in the fourth. Two one. Gill slices this one toward the gap in right center field, and that is down, and rolls toward the wall. Hawk gets the windmill around third, on his way to the plate, and it's a run-scoring triple for Cam Gill. And Wake Forest is in front in the fourth. One of the main reasons he's in there is just because of that, because he handles Burns' stuff really well. This time got one elevated, shoots the gap out in right center field, and Hawk had a good read on this. It's right out in front of him. He knows it's not going to get caught. Bill Salento over at third base was sending him the whole time. The payoff. Upstairs, ball four. Cam Nelson coaxes the walk out of the nine spot. 
0-2 again. Houston strikes out. Fastball up the ladder from Evan Blocko for a big second out. Against Williams, the 1-2. On the ground, gobbled up at first by Ford to the bag. Got there in time. Inning over. He said it's right there in the category of Matt Harvey, Rhett Lauder, and oh yeah, Paul Skeens. Sauke went around, and Cam Gill completes the K. Ford maybe went a little bit too far right there. And he's going to take another slider right down the middle. Back-to-back -back Ks for Chase Burns, and he is fan eight. When you look at it compared to what average is. 2-2 two, two, fastball is dotted for strike three called. But coaching staff wise, Seaver King pushes a bunt toward first and he will reach with a bunt single right at Henry Ford. Right here because you got a left-handed pitcher who's going to fall third base side so it's a lot tougher for him to make this play and the only guy that has any chance is Ford and I don't think he's got any chance even if he gloves it right there. For King he's trying to push it that way Make sure that he forces the first baseman to vacate or go towards the mound to make the play. And all different. They got King. The throw from Ford sails, and King is safe at second. 0 1 to Reinish. And on the hands, and he skies this one to right center. Bobby Whalen's camped under it. King readies. Whalen the catch, and King will move up 90. Left field to first base. Hammers this one. Left field and gone! Two run shot Jack Winnay and he extends the Wake Forest lead. Looks like Winnay was just listening to Tom Walter right there. Hey man, if Kurtz goes down, we gotta have other guys that, that step up. Well, who's starting at first base today? Jack Winnay is. That time took an 87 mile an hour fastball. They're trying to, looks like maybe go away, and that one just sneaks back middle in. And that is a short, easy move to the baseball. 104 off the bat, deep into the stands in left field, and it extends this Wake Forest league. 3 1 to Godbout, and he works a walk. So he homers out Burns in the second. Now a leadoff walk against him in the fifth. Backside, sharply hit ground ball in the second. Rolls this one at Austin Hawk. Goes to second for one. Houston to first. Off the bag. Anderson reaches with Jack Winnay stepping in at first base today again for Nick Kurtz. Is one, two. Struck him out. Tenth K for Chase Burns. Waits on the two, two. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Whalen strikes out. Full count on Nelson. Works a walk out of the nine spot to lead off the six. 3 1. And that rides high and tight. And it's back to back walks from the Virginia bullpen in this sixth. The 1 2. Swing and a miss. Hold the string for the first down. Um, hence the name Chopper. Swing and a miss. And when Chopper would, would make the play, singles his last two trips. This one comes up and in, and King gets hit by a pitch out of the five spot. First pitch swinging, gentle ground ball to Godbout at second, and Hungate is out of dodge. Misses when he does miss. 2-2. Two -two. Stefan strikes out. A dozen Ks for Chase Burns against Virginia's three-hitter Casey Sauke. 3-2. On the ground left side at Merrick Houston. Inning over. One, two, three for Chase Burns. He is hit to all fields. Drives this one in the air to center. Well, it goes back to the wall, and that ball is gone. Second home run of the day for Jack Winnay, and he adds to the Deeks lead in the seventh. Have a day, Jack Winnay. Two run shot that made it a three run ball game in his previous at bat. This time he's going to take it out to the biggest part of the ballpark, fastball. And you can see that natural action that Hungate's going to get on the fastball. It's going to work in towards a right hander. That one just didn't get in far enough. Inner third, Winnay extended. Two home runs today, now eight on the year for Jack Winnay. 
I went back and looked at it and did determine that. Gill works a walk. With a 1-1. One -one. Runner on the move. The throw. Got him. Cam Nelson caught stealing. That's down. He works a walk against Chase Burns to lead off the seventh. His 95th pitch of the day. Swing and a miss. Burns with his 13th strikeout. Now here in the seventh. 2-2 Two -two to Anderson. He's fouled off again. No, that's a fair ball down the line for Anderson. Ford races around to third. Williams gets to it in the corner, and it's a double. Tucked down the line by Ethan Anderson off Chase Burns. Two strike count with two outs in the seventh. Bouncing ball up the middle and Houston. Gloves and ends the inning. Ryan Osinski against the top of the wake lineup and Merrick Houston stings one to right in front of a sliding Casey Sauke. And it's a leadoff single for Houston. His second hit and his third time aboard today for the Deeks. First pitch swinging, slice to left, and it plops down in front of Harrison Dedewick. Two balls and two strikes. Osinski deals. And this one caroms away from Anderson, and both runners move up, and now two in scoring position. Another payoff pitch. And tell your strikes out. Osinski wins the battle, and there's one away in the eighth. They're going to walk Seaver King. And that draws the lefty, Jake Reinish. Captures 3-1. It's a walk. It's a 6-1 Wake Forest lead as Jake Reinish draws the bases loaded free pass. When A skies this one to the left side with the infield fly rule in effect. Hawk in the air, right field. Sauke backs up, and the inning is over. Last night, Javar Williams robbed a home run. This is on the ground to short. Sliding stab, Houston. The throw. No tag on Griff O'Farrell. Will raise 2 2. Sauke strikes out. It's a punch out for Ray to end the eighth inning. 3 0. Four pitch walk. Cam Nelson has walked three times and a one out base runner for wake up five. There are some esteemed ballparks at the highest level of this sport where that's not the case. Most. Houston pokes it into center field and he's got his second base hit and as many trips and as many innings. He's one of two on for Williams. Runner goes. Williams pulls it into right field. A base hit and Nelson comes in to score. It's an RBI single for Javar Williams and the freshman adding to the Wake Forest lead in the ninth. Hot shot and it caroms past O'Farrell into center. Houston scores, Williams first to third and Wake Forest adds to the lead here in the ninth inning. I mean, the only time a hamstring injury goes away is when you don't do anything for a long time. It just King rolls this one softly to first. And Ford's play is to first. Williams scores from third, and it's now 9-1 Wake Forest. Sift through all of that. Jake Reinish in the air to left center. Harrison Didowick there, and the inning is over. 1-2. Rolled, and it beats the shift for Didowick. Down the left field line in a big turn, but just a single. And Harrison Didowick is on for the first time. Standing by. In the air, right field, and struck well by Perota. Back to the wall, and gone! Second career hit, and first career home run. The D.C. native goes yard here in the ninth inning. 0-2. Dotted for strike three called. And Wake Forest takes down Virginia.